Take a number. I'm Anna. I'm Sophia. And today we're going to be talking about The Season by Sarah McLean. We're reviewing The Season today because... Because The Season is a great introduction to historical romance, especially if you aren't ready for any serious, you know, love scenes, because it's clean. Clean. Um, it's just... We both PG don't like that word. But it's PG-13. Yeah, it's PG-13. And... It was the first historical romance novel that McLean wrote, but it was... Um, it's the first historical romance novel I read. Yes. I read it when I was nine. Um, my friend and I read it because it was a uh, recommended reading list book going yeah. into seventh grade. And we both liked it so much that we would... We would... We had one copy that we would trade back and forth between us. And at one point in time, my friend actually memorized word for word the last chapter. We decided that since we wanted to review historical romance novels, it seemed fairly fitting to start with the first one we both read. Granted, the last time I'd read it, I was nine years old, and Anna was 12. I, I'd reread it later on when I was like in high school I had stuff. not. We're gonna give a quick non-spoiler review. Mm -hmm. Anna, list the pros. Very sweet characters, very interesting side characters. They all have their own depths and you can believe in them and you want a sequel for them. We will never get a sequel, by the way. Never. So our heroine and main oh. character... We didn't list the cons. Oh, okay. Guys, I was nine years old when I read this book. I obviously reread it. And rereading it made me realize a lot of the cons to the book. Here's the thing. I still have a lot of love for this book, but look, I don't think I could hand this book to a lot of people and expect to get them to come back for more. Because I think, unfortunately, a lot of the book, it reads more like a novella that just is strung out so far along because there isn't the sexual tension. Granted, there, she, McLean writes really good romance and she has a really good plot, but the plot is pretty two-dimensional and it's not super exciting, but this is a debut novel, and I think considering that, it's pretty phenomenal. That said, I don't think this is a book you can take pretty seriously. I think this is a book you kind of have to be like, I'm turning off my brain. I am turning off my brain, and I'm here to have a fun time, because it, it is a, like, rereading it, I was like, I need to stop thinking and analyzing, which isn't really what you want when you're here to review a book. Our heroine is Alexandra Stafford. She's only 17. I understand that this is her first season. That said, being 18, reading about a 17-year-old, oh, fun in love with a 23-year-old, it's kind of like... <laughs> you, you can't put today's standards on historical books be and characters because, you know, obviously things were done differently. I'm aware. So Alexandra, or Alex, is the youngest child and daughter, the only daughter, of the Duke. Duke and Duchess Wakefield, and she has three older brothers. The only one that matters is the oldest one, and he yeah. works in the war office. Yeah. That brings us to our hero and love interest. This is Gavin Sewell. He's a baron or some mm -hmm. shit, like I care. He's an earl. <laughs> he has newly inherited the title from his father, who is died under mysterious circumstances. I don't know why. I, I, he died. He, he legit died. He didn't die. <laughs> it's not like he's like... He's not uh, just floating around yeah, somewhere. No, he's not gonna come back. Yeah, he's, no, not he's dead, and Gavin's only remaining family is his uncle, Lucian. Who's come in to help uh, him through this grieving time. Yeah, and then Alex... We were supposed to mention Alex's family. We forgot. Okay, we've got two sidekicks. Ella and Vivi. They're adorable. They're great. Once again, this this book really did do a good job of setting you up for more books because they these sidekicks are really good, well-fleshed characters. Yes, you would have really liked wanted them. to read their books. And but at some again, points, you happening. like them more than the main characters a little bit. I straight up do. <laughs> um, okay, we've got Penelope Grayson. We've got Freddie Stanhope, who is MVP of the entire book. Love him so much. Yeah. Um, then there's a Baron. Yeah, the French, French Baron. Oh, we, Alex we, has got a maid named Eliza. Eliza never shows up past this one chapter, but poor Eliza suffers like... Alright guys, so we've listed off our pros, our cons. Honest pros are that it's really sweet, really well written, it does a great job of setting you up for what this universe kind of entails, or this setting, not universe. <laughs> uh, my cons are that it feels heavy-handed, 
it's pretty slow reading. Like, it's hard to absorb it as fast as... I, I don't... It was tough. It was tough. Like, I don't want to hate on it, but I'm going to hate on it when it's time to go over the plot. Okay, my overall feelings for this book. I do have, uh, you know, a tint of nostalgia over it. I really think it does a good job of introducing, you know, the setting. And I do love the characters, but, you know, there was just something missing for me on the reread. But would I give this... I think it's this... called Sex. Okay. <laughs> would I give this to younger readers to read? Absolutely. Absolutely! It does it so well, and you love the characters, and you don't have... you don't worry about it being too mature for younger readers. Yeah, I 10 out of 10 agree with that. You know, this is probably the best book I could have started out with at nine years old to read for historical romance novels, okay? I wholeheartedly agree with that. At the same time, I don't really recommend this for people who have already read historical romance novels because I don't think it's something you can take seriously and actually enjoy. Uh, not unless you're somebody who prefers PG-13 romance because that is a thing. If that is the case, good for you. This is probably a book that's going to fit your criteria. Because uh, it does have a sweet romance, it's got an, a good plot line. I think it can be a little two-dimensional and fall a little flat in certain areas. I think there's definite pacing issues. Okay, so how we're rating the series is we're rating it by romance, plot, characters, world building, and a good ending. And then we're averaging those scores out to get the percentages. So my ratings for romance was a 4 out of 5. I gave it a 3 out of 5 just because there wasn't as much tension as I felt like there could be. You know, it wasn't really steamy or anything. It was cute. It was cute. But there needed to be steam is mm -hmm. the thing. Plot? For the plot, I rated it a 3 out of 5. I rated it a 3 out of 5. Yeah, and you know, I think it deserves that. I think it's a good enough plot. It's not it's not terrible. Like I never hated it. And that's when true, I was, that's true. And when I first read it, you know, it was so new and it was exciting. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. So, characters. For characters, I gave it a four out of five. I gave the characters a four out of five as well. I think they're the highlight of this book for a debut novel. She did a really good job of establishing yeah, it that. It felt almost a little bit like an ensemble cast. Exactly. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with that. And I think that's because there isn't any smut in this book. It's because you have to have this, otherwise... <laughs> yeah, you have to yeah. form a connection between the reader to have them interested enough. All right, now for, for uh, world building, I gave it a five out of five. I give it a 4 out of 5. I think it, I give it a 5 out of 5 because it explains everything and you're not lost. And you know what's happening between the aristocracy. I give it a 4 out of 5 because I think Lana does, yeah, she explained, uh, McLean explained everything really cleanly. She, you know, she gave simple explanations, she had nice care. she had good characters. But that said, like, I didn't think the world building was 5 out of 5 for me. It wasn't like, this is a great world that I'm wholly invested in. It's like, no, 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 the characters are cute, it's all really sweet, but it's not a 5 out of 5 for me. Okay, I think you're basing it off of more of, like, how interesting and immersive the world yeah, building like is. Yeah, like, Elizabeth Hoyt, oh, okay. 5 out of 5. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, but now for the purpose on... of this book, I... I yeah, 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 yeah. So now we have, we're rating our good ending. And I gave it a 4 out of 5. I thought it was very fulfilling at the time <laughs> that I first read it, and I thought it was really cute. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5. And the reason for that is because I think the ending is too abrupt. It comes together all at once. They're, like, her realizing she's... First off, the romance literally happens at the tail end. Her realizing she's in love, tail end, then the... the actual climax. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, the ending is for a climax. That's the entire point of it. But that said, it felt too rushed. It literally happened within the last two chapters. Everything, all at once. It was like a never-ending train mm -hmm. wreck. It just, it was too much for me. And then it was kind of like, okay, we're done. And I was kind of like, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I said, Anna will be the pros and I will be the cons, I meant that. Uh, overall, Anna gave it an 80% approval rating, and I had a 66% approval rating. Now, do you stand by that? You think it's an 8 out of 10 for a book? For the purpose of explaining, like, being a good stepping stone, yes. But not. I cannot compare this to the other books because it would be less than, her, yeah. than 
than even McLean's other books, let alone, like, other authors. Yeah, as a book to hand to somebody, yeah. I, I, I stand by my 66 approval rating. I think it's a, I think it's a good book. It's not something I'm in love with, but it is something I think people can really enjoy. If this is a book that you read when you're younger, it will foster a love of historical romance stories, yeah, and you'll end up true. like us. So that is the end of our spoiler-free review. <laughs> Bye!